In a world of automation, we are going to dive into Zapier and I'm going to connect ChatGPT. So without further ado, let's dive in. So this process is super duper simple. What we're going to do, once you've logged into zapier.com, you are going to create an account if you haven't got one. On the left hand side, you'll see your menu. You're going to look for apps. Now, once you've hit apps over here, you're going to go over to the right hand side and you're going to click on add connection. Here you are going to search for an app. What are we looking for? Chat GPT. You will find it right over here. You can just click on chat GPT. This window will pop up and it will only take a few seconds. And over here you will be adding an API key. So what you need is to create an API key. So on this link where it says create an API key, we're going to open this and it will now open up this window. So from this page, you're going to go ahead and at the bottom here, it says create an API key to access open AI API. Right. So we're going to give it a name. It can be whatever it is you'd like. It is optional and you can also add a project name. We can add permissions here and then create secret key. It's a secret. Shh. Here it is. We're going to click on copy. And once we have clicked on copy, we're going to go back to this page that we had open earlier on. We are going to paste the key in right over here. Again, organization ID optional. You can add that in if you'd like to. But for now, we're going to click on yes, continue to chat GPT. This process is now complete. You will have connected Zapier with chat GPT. It's as simple as that. If you go back to Zapier, you will see if you refresh this apps page, you'll see that ChatGPT will come up over here and you can manage your automations from this page. If this was helpful, drop us a like, folks. Show your support. We'll see you next time. Peace out.